Hi everyone, I'm Okmazel with Black Expats Repats in Jamaica. It is Easter Sunday here in Jamaica of 2024 and I'm going to give you five or I hope a few things to help you um, prepare if you are planning to move to Jamaica or return to Jamaica, make Jamaica home, whatever your case may be, okay? So we are going to get right into it. Here are a few things you need to know um, to prepare or just to be knowledgeable of when you are coming to Jamaica. So one thing you do want to understand is that anywhere you go in this world, there's going to be certain societal functions and, and culturally uh, relevant things you need to be aware of. So um, most people know Jamaica has a very rich and cultural heritage and there are certain uh, etiquettes and local customs that you want to be familiar with with integrating into communities. So, um, one thing you want to be knowledgeable of is Jamaica has different uh, terrains and things like that, depend, depending on where you're going, uh, which we'll talk more about. But you have um, some of the more, more a lot of people who are not from Jamaica experience Jamaica through tourism. So you have those locations such as Montego Bay or Negril. Um, and uh, the Central Hub, or like more more the hustle and bustle you'll find and more so like Kingston um, so depending on the areas that you go um, in outside of those areas will typically be known to be more rural or kind of like mid mid city mid country kind of like in between um, so you have those areas and you have like more rural or like the areas that exist outside of those places um, that may have kind of like a different functionality um, different functionality they may be more slow moving more just paced and um, more relaxed life you know simple living uh, whereas depending on if you go into certain areas you may encounter just different living experiences um, for the most part people are polite and people are genuine and people are helpful but still we just want to um, always just be mindful different areas will call for different things and not anything that I can discuss within <laughs> um, a whole video right now at this uh, current time but I implore you to join our community um, Black Expats Repats in Jamaica I'll link it in the description if you are interested in coming that way you will have a community while you're um, looking to return or just start getting familiar with things and we can go more in depth with those things in the community you know again you have those people who are in the process who have already returned who are there and willing to help you with your relocation process um, now we are moving to a new country you do need to familiar yourself with the uh, residency and the uh, visa requirements um, so you have the tourist visa uh, which you can come you can stay if granted up to uh, 90 days on initially you'll be granted 30 days you can go to Pika and apply for an extension which they will have to decide if they will grant you an additional 30 days depending on why you're needing that so on and so forth so um, that's just you know if you want to come and you want to kind of just explore you want to kind of get a feel you want to be here on uh, you'll be here on a tourist visa again this is for those who are not uh, of Jamaican heritage if you are J Jamaican heritage you know you oh, apparently you, have, you don't have to worry about that um, and if you are of Jamaican heritage but you don't necessarily have that uh, documentation you want to make sure you come and you apply for um, the residency um, you want to come and apply for your citizenship you want to have your uh, parents or your grandparents any type of documentation that you have that says you have Jamaican lineage you want to have that so you don't have to deal with those things that we have dealt with for those who are not of Jamaican heritage so you need to um, you have the tourist visa um, you have the uh, work permit work visa which I currently function on I did a video about that which I can also link in the description you have the marriage visa um, some people come here on a school visa um, there's a retirement option um, you have a few options that you want to familiarize yourself with um, before coming so you know um, you know what your options are if you decide that you want to live Jamaica on a long term or a permanent basis um, and again, we can assist with those things or you can join our community. It's up to you. Um, it's always helpful to have, you know, people who've been through the process who are familiar with it to help you kind of just have like a little bit more understanding. But 
again, these are things you want to, you know, of course, do your own research and have that knowledge so you'll know, you know, what best suits you in your situation and what you're wanting to do. Um, so banking and financing, you, um, if you're planning on being here, you know, you want to start establishing relationships with the banks. So be sure to bring everything, bring all your documentation. We, you will need a TRN to basically do any type of business out here that renting, banking. You will, you will need to go to the TRN office um, and possibly you can try to get one online, but that is a requirement for the most part. When doing anything out here business-wise, out here in Jamaica, you will need a uh, TRN. Um, and the cost of living can vary. So if you are going to be in a more rural setting, things may be more or less expensive. If you're going to be in the main areas like Kingston, Montego Bay, uh, they may just, it's going to be higher cost of living. Um, so you want to establish relationships with the bank as soon as possible, again, depending on your needs, um, especially if you're planning on acquiring a vehicle. So if you are not familiar with Jamaica's landscape, or you're not from here. Um, we recommend that you stay in uh, one of the more um, uh, high traffic areas. So we recommend Kingston, Montego Bay, and the Grill. If you are just not coming here, um, at least until you get a vehicle, because transportation in Jamaica can be uh, can be sometimes difficult and pricey. Uh, depending on where you are. So you want to be somewhere where they have, you know, transportation options available to you until you get situated with a vehicle or you learn the ropes and you get familiar with uh, maneuvering and navigating around Jamaica. So we do recommend that. So again, you want to establish relationships uh, with the banks and, you know, that's going to transition into, you know, choosing the right place to live and the right place to be. Everybody's different. Uh, people have their different reasons for coming out here to Jamaica. Uh, when I first came, I was in Montego Bay for a little bit. Um, I don't really, you know, necessarily need to be in kind of like the beachy, like touristy area. So I came to Kingston, which, you know, I enjoy Kingston. I love being in Kingston. Kingston has a lot of transportation options. It was easy for me to get to certain offices and do whatever I need to do business wise to get set up and situated out here. Um, which again is why, you know, we recommend, especially if you're just not coming and you're not familiar or you've been away from Jamaica, maybe your family has, is from Jamaica, but you haven't lived here. You want to be somewhere where you can get around easily, um, especially if you don't have a vehicle. Um, so if you want, you know, the more relaxed vibe, people typically kind of go gravitate towards the grill, you know, they're retiring or you just want to. Just want that beachy scene, you know, in the grill. Um, Montego Bay, I think you kind of get like a, you know, mix. You get the beach, you get more kind of like a city life as well. Um, so that may be a good blend. Um, Kingston, again, it's just more more hustle and bustle. Um, you have some kind of water in the vicinity, but it, it's not like a, a beachy area. Like you uh, would identify Montego Bay and the grill. So again, depending on, you know, what it is that you want, and again, all of these, um, those places have, um, you know, rural areas, you know, surrounding them. So um, I love being in the mountains. Um, so, but, you know, I love being there, but also I, I had to get a vehicle because, again, transportation was difficult. Um, grocery stores and things like that aren't necessarily like within easy, accessible reach. So it kind of um, just depends on, you know, you and your lifestyle and all those things. But initially, especially when you're just now coming here, you're just now starting out, we recommend uh, those places start off until you get, you know, a little bit more settled. So um, with that, I hope that was five things. Um, <laughs> so we talked about, uh, you know, just familiarizing yourself with Jamaican culture. And again, these are things I cannot cover in the entirety of a, of, of a video. So if you can, you know, go do some research and join our community, do that. Um, two, we talked about banking and financing. Um, you want to uh, look into the banks 
and see what their requirements are. Uh, I'll probably do a separate banking video. Um, but again, just familiarize yourself and know that, you know, um, you may have different requirements as someone who's uh, who's living here and has citizenship here. Um, exploring, oh, we didn't talk about income and employment opportunities. So we recommend if you're coming here as an expat or if you're coming here as someone who, uh, again, does not have Jamaican lineage, we recommend getting online income or establishing and starting a business uh, to support yourself with out here as we want to leave the employment options for those who live here locally and um, you may not you know be uh, happy with the pay or the working conditions um, and again this is not to deter you just something to be mindful of because i know some people think they can just come and get a job or something like that just be um mindful you know of those things and you don't know, have to say that it's impossible but it's something that you want to think about and i always encourage people to try to get something online and start a business that's just my recommendation period for wherever you are america uk jamaica wherever <laughs> that may be um so just to kind of like free you up and give you more flexibility and more options and so that was the fifth thing thank you <laughs> Um, entrepreneurship is really big out here in Jamaica so you want to follow suit but you also want to make sure you're doing your research okay please do your research before you come out here and invest in things and put money into things you don't really know the community you don't know the people out here you don't know the right market do your research uh, prior you know so you know you have the funds and the resources going to um, the right things and you're working with the right people um, and choosing the right place to live okay yeah so hopefully my math is correct <laughs> if not I'm trying to I'm in a rush rush because it's been a rain out here so I had to come out here and do this video um, before the rain caught me but if you are interested in coming again we have a community of both expats and repats returner residents um, or anybody of the black diaspora who is looking to come and make Jamaica home. Um, we are here to, again, help you establish community and help you along with the process if this is something that you desire. So black expats and repats in Jamaica. Um, I'll put all of our links and things that you will need in the description. Um, so, yeah, if you are looking to uh, be a part of our community, if you are looking to make Jamaica home, um, join us okay so that's it i hope you have a wonderful uh time day wherever you are in the world or whatever time you're watching this it's easter here in jamaica okay it's march 31st it's, it's easter sunday sorry easter sunday so um yeah enjoy see you later and have a wonderful day bye